Hi, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations, and this video is designed to give you a good look at this 1976 Daiichi Vintage Pachinko Machine. When I do my restorations on these machines, um, typically you find them in people's basements and barns and garage sales and things like that. Uh, they're, they're usually very, very dirty, uh, filled with spiders and... Oh, so all sorts of stuff. But at any rate, um, to get them back into good working condition, um, my opinion is that you have to take them apart completely and clean every part individually. So that's what I do. Um, all of this plastic, all of the chrome, everything you see comes off of this so that it's completely empty. Um, all that is left is, is what they call the play field. The play field gets cleaned the nails get tumbled, uh, all the plastic gets cleaned, and then everything gets reassembled and put back onto the machine. So these, these nails get, get pulled out, uh, cleaned, put back on. They are checked for alignment to make sure that the balls don't hang up anywhere. In other words, the balls can get through the little mazes of balls uh, without hanging up drop down into the pay pockets the way they should. This is all uh, waxed. Uh, all of these individual pieces are, are taken apart. All the mechanisms are taken apart, cleaned to make sure that they function. Uh, the cabinets are all cleaned up. This outer cabinet is made of, of red mahogany. So these all get taken apart. Each, each board is, is dealt with individually, sanded, uh, polyurethaned, as is this back board. So all, all, of, all of the th plastic and metal that you see here, the wiring harness, that all gets taken off. All of these metal pieces come off. I sand this board down so it's nice and smooth, and then polyurethane it so that it's, it'll stay and, and um, not have moisture affect it. Um, over time, moisture will get into the wood, um, but with the polyurethane, that, that solves that problem. These are powered by a 9-volt battery, and there are two light bulbs in this machine. Uh, this particular machine, they're both located right here. And if I plug this 9-volt battery in, oof, I'll just set it up in there. You'll see that one light is on. Uh, the light that's on now is what's called the ball out light or low ball supply, whatever you want to call it. What that does is it says there's not enough or no balls in the hopper. It's controlled by this switch here. And it's a weight transfer. When the balls weight transfer, it, it comes down and turns the switch off. It also um, opens a mechanism that allows balls to, to play from the front side, and I, I'll show you that in just a second. So uh, we'll load the, the machine up. Uh, it's pretty noisy, so I won't talk while I do this. You will need to buy pachinko balls. Um, I don't include any. They're very heavy and they're very easily gotten on eBay. So if you decide to buy this machine, you want to buy, my, my opinion is anywhere between three and 500 pachinko balls. And you basically want to do a search for cheapest plus shipping. They're all the same. So um, this is a, a catch box that's been uh, made for this machine. There's two places where balls exit this machine. One is down this chute and one is down this smaller chute here, in, and you need a box to catch them as they drop out. Um, probably by the time I get this all ready, I'll have a, something soft in here, so it won't make a lot of noise. But that box will just sit there like that. Uh, balls in the machine go down and around, fill up the jackpot chamber, and the seesaw chamber is in the right position. So this machine is ready to play. So we'll turn it back around and I'll show it to you in action. So now you're going to put a handful of balls in the upper tray. This is the upper tray. The lower tray 
the ashtray. And the first time that you try to launch a ball, um, nothing will happen. It takes one cycle for the ball to get inside. So again, this won't launch a ball. Second time a ball will launch. The nice thing about Pachinko is that anybody can play at any age, children uh, right up through the, the oldest adults. As long as they can push down on the plunger and let go, they can play Pachinko. Um, obviously, there is some technique involved, but really no skill. You don't have to, to have much skill to actually play it. So again, just one launch, the ball will drop down and exit through the what they call the drain hole, and that's what you need that catch box for. And what you're trying to do, and I haven't succeeded yet, there we go. So when you do get it in one, one of these, these are called tulips because they, they open and close, or these are pay pockets or the center attraction. Uh, this light will light, and your prize is 14 balls. So essentially what you're doing is you're betting one ball in hopes of, of winning 14, and they, they will come out here. So again, not, not really any skill, but technique. I want to try to get a ball to just come up and drop over this way rather than shooting it way over here. So I go with a little bit of a light touch on the plunger. Ah, there we go. We got it in the pay pocket. Um, what you're seeing me doing is is plexiglass. Uh, most people, the original machines had glass. Um, most that glass is long gone. It's been broken over years. And most people will put plexiglass in these. Um, and plexiglass has a tendency to bow a little bit. So unfortunately, this this plexiglass bows a little bit. So when you see the ball come down and all of a sudden it'll stop. It's not because the pins aren't lined up right, it's simply because the plexiglass is bowed out a little bit. And as soon as I push it back flat, it, it lets the ball continue. So uh, you could have a piece of glass cut uh, this size, although it would be a little bit tough because of, of this cut here, but I'm sure somebody could figure out how to do it. Um, and then the glass would fit tight but it, it just doesn't happen that often that it's really a problem. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheat this. Typically when you, when you put a ball in, in one of the center attractions, it will open up the tulips. There, so now I've got now I've got three of the tulips open, and we'll see if we can... Again, I'm just going to push it back a little. Oop. There we go. Oh! Okay, so let's see if I can get one on the other side. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so again, this is a Daiichi 1976, and um, if you decide to purchase this particular pachinko, then I am available. Um, once we, we do business, um, I can give you my phone number. Um, I will gladly spend as much time as necessary to help you set the machine up, make sure it plays properly. Um, you can either have it freestanding, freestanding in the sense of you need some some support along this edge back here, you know, on, on both sides. You need some sort of support because these are are tippy. Um, you don't want to, unless you'd want to store this and bring it out when the kids come. You could you could play it like this, but a lot of people will put the the leg extensions on them, or um, you can have this built into a wall cabinet. Um, that's something I do also, but uh, at any rate, the uh, the machine is ready to go. It should give you many years of pleasure, and um, I hope this is a machine that will fit well into your lifestyle and in your home. Thank you very much.